This is the RK61 mechanical keyboard, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to band and mod your RK61. If you guys want to check out this RK61, the link is going to be in the description, as well as pretty much everything in this video, as well as these keycaps. If you're wondering what keycaps these are, these are the key move pudding keycaps. And as you can see, this keyboard looks really nice when it's lit up. Because of these keycaps, the RGB shines through, and it looks really nice. I have the link to these keycaps, this keyboard, in the description down below if you want to check it out as well as most of the things that I'm going to use to mod this keyboard today. So let's get into bandy modding this keyboard. To band-aid mod this keyboard, you'll need a couple of things. All the things you'll need are band-aids, keycap puller, tweezers, and some scissors. Using your keycap puller, take off the keycaps that have stabilizers under them. For me, in this video, I'm going to be using the spacebar, and I'm only going to be modding the spacebar for this video. But if you want to mod all the stabilizers, just repeat this step for all the stabilizers. Now, once you see the stabilizers, you'll probably see this lever. You want to push down on it with your tweezers and use your finger to pull up on it. If you have the hot swap version of the RK61, make sure you take out the switch before you do this. But if you don't, make sure you follow what I'm doing. Repeat to both sides. And if you have the not hot swappable version, make sure you don't pull it up too high. Because if you like unclip the stabilizer, you'll have to desolder the whole board and it's just going to be a mess. Now it's time to start to actually apply the band-aid to the keyboard. Take your band-aid and unwrap it, then cut it into a square. Then cut up your band-aid into a little bit of a smaller piece, just how it looks like in the video. And try to insert the band-aid how I'm doing it in the video. If the band-aid part is a little bit too big, you could cut it into a smaller piece, just like I'm doing in the video. I just realized that I haven't even told you guys what band-aid modding even does. So let me really quick explain it to you guys. So as you guys can kind of see, the stabilizer moves around a lot. When pressing it, it can cause random noises like rattle noises. Putting the band-aid in between the board and the stabilizer makes it not move as much. So band-aid modding pretty much makes the stabilizer not rattle. Alright, back to the video, next thing you want to do is apply the band-aid to the other side of the stabilizer. Once again, pull the tab up, get your band-aid, and insert it. And now that you finally band-aid modded the second part of the stabilizer, you're pretty much done. And if you're wondering what mousepad I'm using with this keyboard, I'm using the Dream Big Work Hard Make It Happen mousepad from Create Work Play. If you want to check it out, there's going to be a link in the description down below. 